Hey there, Eastview kids. We have been welcoming Jesus by giving thanks, preparing our hearts to believe, and rejoice in God for his son. Let's start our time together by offering our praise and worship with this song. Do you ever send Christmas cards or letters? Have you ever gotten one in the mail? You might see more mail this time of year. What if we didn't get mail? What if an angel came to share a message with us? You see, God did not send messages in the mail in a card. He sent special messengers. Let's hear from our favorite and true book, the Bible. During this time of year, I've noticed the mailman is a little busier. His bag is full of Christmas cards. Yes, I have seen people go to their mailbox and smile as they pull out a stack of cards, sending them warm wishes and season's greetings. It makes me smile as I think back to that first Christmas. You see, God didn't send messages in cards. He, well, now it looks like I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a look at a true story found in the Bible. The Story of the Shepherds, Luke 2, 8 through 20. There were shepherds living in the fields. It was night and they were looking after their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them. The glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. It is for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. You will find him lying in a manger. Suddenly, a large group of angels were saying, May glory be given to God in heaven and peace on earth. The angels left and the shepherds hurried off. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. The shepherds told everyone what they had seen and heard. All who heard it were amazed. Today's Big Idea, tell, share God's story. Time for some Christmas trivia. 
Answer the question correctly to make this tree shine. When the shepherds saw the angels, they were terrified or happy. When the shepherds saw the angels, they were terrified. What did a large group of angels do? Praise God or give orders? The large group of angels praised God. Who did the shepherds tell about the birth of the Savior? Their family or everyone? The shepherds told everyone about the birth of the Savior. The tree is shining bright, which means it's time to freeze dance. Stand up when the music starts. Dance, but when I yell, freeze, freeze in a dance pose. Ready? Freeze. Keep dancing. Freeze. Keep dancing. Freeze. Keep dancing. Freeze. And have a seat. It's time for our memory verse. This week we've set it to a song. Listen first. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Now, can you sing along with me? For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Nice job. You know that feeling of excitement you get when you get a new present and you can't wait to tell others about it? That's how we want to be with Jesus. We want to tell everyone about the gift of Jesus. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think of a family member, a friend, or even a teacher that you can tell about Jesus. Ready? Go! Okay, now bow your heads and pray with me. Lord, you know all the people that came to our mind. Please use us to tell them about the gift of Jesus. We love you, amen. What a glorious sight it must have been when a host of angels sang about the birth of Jesus and those shepherds, once they heard the good news, they went off right away to tell everyone. What about you? Tell, share God's story. Friends, think about a time when you got something new. You probably cannot wait to show your friends or your family. That is exactly how we want to be with Jesus. We want to tell every single person about the gift of Jesus. Think about the shepherds. Once they heard the good news of Jesus' birth, they went off right away and told everyone. What about you? Who can you tell about Jesus' birth? I'm going to give you and your family some ideas on ways you can tell someone about Jesus. Take a minute and press pause. Then make a plan on how you can tell and invite someone to church with your family. We'll see you next time. Bye.